Hmm. Well, you find it's all under Homeland Security, and then you say, how come our Homeland Security, you know, guy, that Chertoff guy, how come he's a dual citizen? How come he's not an American? How come Homeland Security is paying $4 million to listen to a guy by the name of Primakov, who is the head of the KGB? Does this all, you know, are the pieces coming together yet? How about that guy, Marcus Wolf from the East German Stasi? i got to remind you this from previous shows so you understand, well, gee, that's right, Homeland Security is hiring that guy, Marcus Wolf. He was running the East German secret police. What did they do? They spied on their own people, didn't they? Yeah, and they had camps, and they had re-education camps. So you start piecing it together and you say, wow, and I keep bringing it to you saying, this stuff's happening. This stuff's real. They're doing this to you constantly. So they're lying to you constantly. They're spying on you constantly. They're putting cameras up everywhere you look, you know. And meanwhile, you in the audience, you, you viewers, you listeners out there, are you really listening? Has this happened before in history? We got a new, quote, leader. He's got a logo. When have you seen that in history? So let me go over some, you know, some of the news just to you know, let you know where some of this data came from. We're going to start off with what's called Market Watch. Market Watch is a, uh, well, it's a publication, you know, an online publication of the Wall Street Journal. And it's part of their digital network. But the interesting thing with Market Watch, it says, um, and this I really like because now they're starting to sell you the new world order. And I think we'll do a show on it, but we'll mention it a bunch of times. Because people like David Rockefeller, Joseph Biden, oh, let's see, Papa Bush, about 200 times, uh, Kissinger, how about recently when he was over there at the stock exchange one day? Oh, now an economic crisis will give us a great opportunity to have a new world order. Okay, <clears throat> then you get Blair over in um, England. Oh, this is a great time, my fellow Englishmen, to consider a new world economic order. And then you get, what's the guy over, Sarkozy or whatever over in France? All these people are selling you something that Hitler tried to sell you. Do you remember Hitler with his new world order? You know, the Fuhrer, he wanted a new world order. Hmm. So these couple banking families around the globe are, are getting you ready for something besides economic collapse. But that couldn't be because I'm just a nut on your television. Did you see that nut on your television the other day? Yeah, he was quoting from the Wall Street Journal thing where it said, uh, let's see, yeah. Hmm, have you ever heard of the Working Group for Financial Markets? Yeah, was this economic collapse done by design? Oh, Madoff, he did it alone, huh? Enron, WorldCom, should I go through the list? Do you know what's going on economically? Do you realize that in 2006, the United States of America stopped feeding itself? We became a net food importer? That doesn't make sense. How about, could you believe we can't feed ourselves anymore? Rather interesting, huh? So anyway, who's the people that are putting this all in place? And meanwhile, they're taking, and once again, they're going from a private bank and they're borrowing money, of which you and I and your loved ones have to pay interest on, right? That private bank over there, like Federal Express. We call it the Federal Reserve. It's private, just like Federal Express. Well, actually, they're a public company, but I'm saying this one's a private company, owned by those same banking families huh, we mentioned earlier. So needless to say, we have to pay them interest for that money. And then what are they doing? What are your representatives doing? They're a bunch, you know, we've got criminals up there. They're giving the money to banks. <laughs> you know, they killed Main Street all for Wall Street. Do you feel the pain yet? Do you realize something's not right? You know something's wrong? You know, oh, security, 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 show us your papers, show us your papers. They're deploying the U.S. Army on the streets. Don't believe me. Have you read the September 8th issue of the Army Times? Go back last year, 2008, September 8th. Read the Army Times. It's online. Yeah, we're going to deploy Americans to put down dissent. That's one of their jobs. Now, they're building camps. They're deploying Army, the United States Army, on the streets of America under NORTHCOM to put down dissent. one of their jobs. Does it fit together yet for you? Just wondering. Okay, so anyway, yeah, I asked you about the working group on markets. I thought it was... But let's see. Ooh. We'll get into some other money stuff. But here we go with the, the Wall Street Journal piece. And, you know, how, let's see... A new currency may be coming out of this, huh? That's something that they were planning. But let's go with another one for you. How about 
the Defense Department, this is like two days ago, right after Obama gets in, Defense Department announces Civilian Expeditionary Workforce. Doesn't that sound interesting? Civilian Expeditionary Workforce. Who are you working for? I'm working for the Civilian Expeditionary Workforce. Well, here's some interesting stuff about it. American civilians trained and equipped to deploy overseas in support of worldwide military missions. Well, let me ask you, hmm, are you into worldwide military missions? Hmm, is this like that occupation? I mean, war, what, war, argument, you know, we have, come on, people, okay? You were lied into wars, boy. You were lied about 9-11, you were lied about Iraq, okay? What else is new? Hey, look up the Gulf of Tonkin. You were lied about the, you know, lied into the Vietnam War. But anyway, what's important is, um, let's see, Obama also made that promise to us, let us not forget his um, promise to form a civilian national security force. Didn't Hitler have one of those? Didn't, uh, come on, Caesar, didn't he have a, you know, he had the Praetorian Guard, don't leave those people out. You know, have we heard this before? Could I be just making this all up? Hmm. So anyway, the Defense Department, I want to say it's a, uh, it's a Defense Department directive. I want you to look up 1404.10. That's right, Defense Department Directive 14.4 excuse me, 1404.10. So go look at that one up. Guess what? It's effective immediately. Would it help if I said, do you think this is taking place right now? So why is it they're building camps and the civilian, you know, expeditionary workforce thing? That's interesting, huh? And the interesting thing, workforce members who are divided into different designations under the directive will serve overseas in support of humanitarian, sounds nice, doesn't it? You know, reconstruction and if necessary, get this part, Combat support missions. Whoa. Okay. You didn't join the Army, but you're going to support combat missions. This is good, huh? Um, if an employee does not wish to deploy, every effort, and you know they'll be giving you every effort for this, okay, will be made to reassign them to a non-deploying position. Okay. They got you. You're already overseas. You're going on the mission. But anyway, I love this. If you read Section 4, right, this is, you know, Okay. Well, the directive suggests that the DOD will at first seek volunteers. Doesn't that sound nice? Everybody step forward. One step. Okay. To serve the civilian workforce. Section 4. That's right. Read this directive. Section 4, subsection E, paragraph 2. This is what it states. Management retains the authority to direct and assign civilian employees. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Isn't that what, you know, employees, management? That part makes sense. Okay. Either voluntary or involuntary. What? Okay. Involuntary. You heard that? Okay. Or on an unexpected basis to accomplish the DOD mission. They're part of the total force, if you go on to read. But I'm sure none of you have time to read this because you're all busy watching the Stuper Bowl. Hey, Stupers, how's the bowl? Anyway, um, kind of interesting. Remember back in July of 2008, your president-elect then, but now president, okay, he said then, um, let's see, he was a front runner. he called for a civilian national security force. Okay, we're building detainment facilities. Okay, they keep on telling you about terrorism and threat, terrorism and threat, terrorism and threat, and FEMA keeps growing, but they can't take care of a flood and a hurricane. Okay, can't even, I mean, what a miserable job of doing that, okay? But now they need to make you a future home. Where in history have you seen governments make big, huge, million people detention facilities? Why are they rung with barbed wire? Why do they have train tracks going into them? Why would Kellogg, Brown & Root, a subsidiary of Halliburton, get $385 million four years ago. Why? Huh. And those bums, I mean those crooks, I mean uh, the previous administration, they pushed all this stuff through, through your Congress who what? Who, quote, steals from you, and I'm quoting, they're stealing from you with all these, quote, bailouts. How many bailouts can they do? How deep is your pocket? And by the way, did you want to bail out banks? Last time you went to a bank, well, they, they were in the process of bailing you out, right? I forgot that one. Did I? So anyway, hmm, kind of reminds you of this, the Obama thing, you know, with the civilian, called the Civilian National Security Force. Uh, Hitler had a youth thing, didn't he? Yeah. Hmm, youth Brigade, Civilian Stasi. Hey, you know who we can thank? Rahm Emanuel. You've heard of him, the new White House Chief of Staff. He's a dual citizen, too, just like the guy in charge of Homeland Security. Well, let me ask you, is the guy in charge of Homeland Security a dual citizen? Hmm. Does he have the KGB and Stasi employees working for him? Did 23 of the top 26 Homeland Security guys resign? Hmm. What did they know? And why do we have, or is that what you wanted, was a dual citizen? 
you know, as your chief of staff in the White House. And it's his idea to have these youth national security force stuff. Yeah.